In this video, we would learn how to create one pie chart basis on the data which we have. We will start with one basic pie chart and we will reach to the advanced level which would be this. So the steps which we will be covering, the basic one, then we will learn to add the values, then percentage, then we will learn to explode, add the shadows, explode all, change the color and add the titles. All of these things we would learn one by one hello everyone welcome to the channel learn area and understand the concept clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon let's get started so before we start it is important that you should have basic knowledge in python and you should have basic knowledge in pandas let's get started first chart which we will start with is basic pie chart let's jump to the python so this is a spider with ide which i am using for python all right so here I, before we before you proceed it is important that you import this library which is matplotlib.pyplot here i have one small data frame which is named as hsbc card all right and what does it contain it contains five countries and number of customers this bank has in each of the countries so for this data frame we have to create a pie plot sorry pie chart let's see how we can create that for that you just start with plt dot pie all right and open parenthesis so to create the basic chart which I just showed you over here. You don't need to do anything. Just need to provide the value basis on which you want to create. So we want to plot this value, the number of customers by market, right? So this is the numeric value which we would be using over here as the first parameter. So when you are working in a spider and if you want to get the knowledge about anything, like if you want to get the knowledge, what are the parameters in pi, then you can just press, you can click on this you can put your cursor on pi and press ctrl i so here you would have all the information anyway let's go ahead and see how we can start with so first i'm going to put the name of my data uh, frame which is this and then the variable which i want to use the variable which i want to use is this and there we go just select this and run this selection now we have the basic plot created over here so this is the basic plot most basic plot which you can create in python now let's take it to the advanced level what next we want to learn now this is the pie chart if you have already created now you want to know which color represents which part represents to which market so for that you're gonna use labels i will use labels again same first my data frame and then i'll provide the variable which contains the value of labels that is countries just a spelling error now i can select this and click the run button there you go like you can see the labels have been added now what if you want to show the numbers so these numbers which we had over here these numbers 2.0 1.0 if you want to show these numbers in terms of percentage how we how we can do that for that we need to add auto pct and to add auto pct you gonna uh, you're gonna tell python populate the percentage it will automatically ca calculate the percentage of this value of this value right how, how you can say that that you can say using this double percentage 1.2 f 
so here we are saying display in two decimal percent two decimal value f represents to float and this is the percent one more percent symbol we need to put over here all right and then let's run this here we go right so this is how you can uh, represent the percentage of your values now what if you want to separate the smallest part in this pie chart let's say canada right if you want to separate this part from this pie chart how you can do that so for that you're going to use the explode parameter or argument whatever you can you say all right so to provide the value uh, to provide the value for explode it is important that you provide the value in tuple right so here in explode you're gonna put the numbers which should be equals to the number of items you have in your data frame like here we are using five items one two three four and five so here you're gonna put five numbers over here because for now let's put zero 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 and zero these are five numbers now you want to explain now you want to separate canada this is the smallest number you want to separate this look at here canada is the second element so come to the second zero and put some value like 0 0.1 i'm going to put 0 0.1 then you can just select this and click run button like you can see this canada is separated this slice is separated similarly if you want you can increase its value like 1.5 let's run this this is more separated similarly if you want to separate uh, japan which is the last element you can just do that as well 0 0.2 like you can see japan is also separated so this is how you can explode it now to beautify this to make it look more beautiful slightly beautiful we can just add the shadows all right and you don't need to do much just say true and let's run this here we go like you can if you can absorb let me just make it bigger so that you could see now you like you can see here we have shadows added all right so this is how you can beautify it by adding shadows all right now let's see what next do we have next if you want to change the color how you can choose that how you can do that colors so here you just need to provide a list of colors which should be equal to the number of items you have provided over here and over here all right so let's put so here we have five items so you're gonna put five colors over here all right so first color is red then i'll put magenta then i'll put green then i'll put blue and then i'll put purple let's count if these are five or more these are five one two three four five all right now let's run this here we go like you can see the colors have been changed now the last thing which i would like to add over here is title what if you want to so if you have many charts created in your uh, in your visualization so possibly you would like to add some title over here which which will differentiate one particular pie chart from the others so what you can do that is very simple just write plt dot title and put the title in parenthesis operator and in single or double quotes whatever you want right number of customers by countries all right and now let's run this entire batch so like you can see here we have added number of customers by countries all right canada india so this is how you can create the pie chart start from the basic and take it to the advanced level 
let's have a look again so here we added labels then we saw how to add the auto percentage then we saw how to explode one piece how to uh, add shadows then how to explode multiple or all pieces and then how to change the color and then how to add the title so i just hope that you enjoyed this video just in case if you have any kind of doubt please do not forget to put your doubt in the comment section thank you very much for watching the video wish you very good luck